The, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, profile on the boundary of our part uh, using the, uh, the part profiles tool in the Esprit toolbar. Uh, to do this, you might want to go to the top view. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and move over so we can see it here. Okay. Oops. And so let's go ahead and select the solid model. Sub elements off. Yep, that's the model that I want to select. We'll go to the, uh, the Create Features toolbar, go out here to the Profiles, Part Profile, and that will open up our Part Profile dialog box. Uh, it wants us to select the CAD body. We want to make a shadow of the CAD body. We want to project that onto the XYZ plane here. Um, we're going to make sure Legacy Method is unchecked. We don't want to create a chain at this point, and just go ahead and click OK. And so what that did, if we uh, go back to our isometric view, is it projected onto this XYZ plane here. It projected the profile that you can have a tool go around to make that shape from the top side. Now, the reason I didn't have it make a chain automatically was because it would have made a chain from this point all the way around the part. And the only part we're interested in machining right now is from this point to this point. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and manually make that chain or, or use auto chain to make that chain. If we select auto chain, select this point at the end, select that segment to show us the direction, and then select our end point over here. And so because it's not a closed chain, we have to go up here and we have to hit the stop icon to tell it we're done creating that chain. And so now we've created a chain that goes across the front of our feature.